Welcome back to Huchos. Today on Huchos, I'm going to be unboxing, reviewing, and time-lapsing this. This is the Elf Sys Smart Home Hydroponic System. It is a deep flow tower hydroponic system that enables you to grow produce at home in an extremely small footprint, utilizing LED lights and the deep flow technique. Okay, so I'm pretty excited about this one. The boys out at Elf Sys have sent me this package and it is their automated smart grow tower system. So there's a few boxes. I can hear the grow media in one of them. This is gonna be a big build, I think. I'd say each of these boxes is a section of the tower. I'm gonna start with the big one, what looks like the base. Let's cut her open and see what we've got. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. All right, look at the size of this system. We've got T5 lighting tubes, we've got the lids. There are lots of different parts. Pump tubing, caps for the top, A and B grow liquid, power control. Hear that? Grow media. Neck cups, T5 LED lighting. This is cool. Okay, so they've got their own power board. It's got wheels for the base. I just want to show you internally. We've got the sticker for the front of it. And here we've got a pump and they've designed a filter for the pump that is built into the base. This will just clip over the top and we've got a drain up one end. This pump will work its way up through the leg that holds the next level. That means that this is internally hidden so that the whole system is gonna be like one really attractive unit. In this next box, we've got the same again, except we have an extra leg that is designed so that it's gonna seal within the leg. So this just fits down over the pump like so. And that is going to fit the base of our next level. On this side, we have the custom built drain. So it just slides down into the space where our risers are. And internally, inside this leg, we've got a silicon seal, which seals this pipe from top to bottom and has this tube within the pipe, which then feeds the level above. So there's no ugly piping going from level to level, it's all contained within the legs. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and assemble. This is the first story and I've got two more after this. And now we can add in all of the components to the tower. Each level has these lids, which just slot into our system like so. And it also comes with hole covers for each of the holes to cover up the little gaps in the corners. It even comes with these little plastic guards. So that just slips in there. And into each of these holes, we have, looks like about a three inch net cup and they fit in like so. The top will actually have a supporting structure of pipes like this. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to have lights on the top. Our whole system is assembled. All that's left now is we've got something that just clips onto our LED fixtures. Uh, I'm going to have this internally facing down and it just clips over like so. That is going to allow us to move our lights up and down. The lights themselves look like this. It's just a T5 LED strip and it's going to clip in like so. So I'm going to assemble all the lights and wire them up. And the wiring just plugs into the back of the light, which will allow us to daisy chain all of these lights together. So there's two on off power adapters supplied with this unit. So that means that we will have two circuits essentially. Bottom one's working. We've got all our lights working there, that's pretty cool. And you can see, see if I can adjust the camera so that we can have a look. You can see the different colors of the diodes that are in there. So we've got a mixture of red and white light. Okay, the pump comes with this controller. Now, 
This, I'd say that this is to adjust how fast the pump flows and we'll plug that in. Okay, so I've downloaded the app and we've added our device. Giving me options for a deep water culture or an NFT system. So I'm just gonna go with NFT and we can add the devices to our systems. This is gonna allow us to set our two separate lights and our pump to timers. And we're gonna to have to go through and manually add each of our switches. So that's actually allowing you to test which switch is which. I've now found my lights. These are my top lights. I'm also gonna add in my water pump and then I'm gonna add it into switch three. And that's all of my devices. I've got my bottom light, my top light, my water pump. And if I wanted to, I could even add in an air stone. I've got extra points on the power board so I can add in whatever I like to this system and control them all with this app. This app is available even if you don't have this system. This is a free app on the App Store. Grab the hose and we can fill up our reservoir at the bottom. And it looks like about a 20 litre reservoir. On the side here, we have a water reading. So you can see as it's filling, we're reaching the high point now. And I filled it just above the high level mark. So our net pots are submerged in about that much water right now. As the system starts to run, I'd say that level will drop and we can add in some more water and nutrient. So I'm gonna turn on the system. It's gonna turn the lights and the pump on at the same time. I'm gonna put the pump up to max. We'll turn it on and the pump is working. It'll be working from the top down. There's the water coming in at the top and that will fill up this top section and drain through this drain pipe here. Once this top level fills, it will drain down and into the next level, and then so on and so forth. This fills from here and moves around within the level and then drops down to the next level, which will then fill. This separator makes sure that it gets circulation and then it will circulate around until it fills, so on and so forth, until it returns into our base system. We're going to need to refill because obviously this will have dropped a reasonable amount uh, by the time all of the levels are full. It's now time to add in the nutrient to the reservoir. There was no physical instructions in the kit that I could find. Um, and all of the instructions on my nutrient are in some other language. So, <sighs> I'm just going to be using my own nutrient for this grow. And that's good because that means we'll be able to look at the system itself rather than the nutrient that they've provided. This, hello. Hi. Go on, go play. Do you like it? So I'm gonna be using my own nutrient and that will just simplify things for me. So here I've overestimated a little bit because I think this is going to be about right for all of the system towers. Over here, please. Lie down, good girl. I'm adding in 35 grams of each, the nitro cow and my diamond spec T. And this is gonna probably be a little bit high, but once we fill all the levels, I think it'll bring it down. Yeah, so we're at 4.7. And what's gonna happen is this is going to circulate. It's not a flood and drain system. It is a continual flow deep water culture system. So what we want to happen is once this is returning, check our pH and our EC, and then we can add in whatever we need to adjust it to get all of the system up to where we want it to be. And as you can see, the top is now, the top tray is now full and has started returning through the return pipe and into the tray below. And now the tray below will start to fill until this fills completely and returns through the return pipe and into the tray below and so on and so forth down to the bottom. And that is how the whole system flows. Now just quickly, just because I was interested to see how it goes for par, I just stuck a par sensor under here that's actually a really good par, um, especially when you consider like you can just 
up or down these lights and achieve a much higher par. You wouldn't have seedlings growing at 430 par. So these lights probably gonna have, wanna have this level to start with, even a bit higher, about there, and we'll get about 220, 230 par, and that will be good to start our seeds. And then as the plants start to mature, we can move it down, and then as they grow up towards the light, we can move it back up. Okay, so as you can see here, on the first run of the system, um, you're gonna need to watch that you don't empty the first tray because it looks like the top two trays will take about one whole bottom tray. So that means that you'll fill the top two trays by the time that you need to refill the bottom tray. So I'll need to start filling this with water now and I'm gonna fill this back up to the high water mark and then by the time I'm finished filling this, this should be returning and our nutrient will mix up throughout the system and I'll come back in an hour or so and we'll have a look at what the nutrient level looks like. This is probably gonna be the most fiddly part just because of the system design. Unless you fill it up with nutrient that you've already pre-adjusted, which is probably gonna be the way that I'd suggest doing it. Have a 20 liter bucket of nutrient, mix it up, and then add in another 20 litre bucket of premixed nutrient so that you don't have to go through this levelling process that I'm doing right now. Each of our levels has a drain outlet. So here, these just pop off and you have a drain so that when you do want to drain the system, you can drain these trays completely. When you want to change the nutrient in the system, you can just undo these end caps and drain out the nutrient. So while that's turning over, I'm going to fill up my net cups with grow media. Just take your grow media and I'm just gonna pour them into each net cup. And because they've been in transit, I'm gonna run this under some water just to get rid of all of the dust particles. I don't want them entering into the nice white system. And I'm gonna wash these out. And there's a tray done. And these can just be placed into the system like so. We've got all of our net pots full of our hydrogen clay media, and now we can go about planting into them. So to plant into these really simple stuff, I'm just going to move some of the media aside so that I can just barely see the water. I'm going to take my seeds. In this case, I've got, these are Paragon spring onion seeds. I'm going to sprinkle them over and I'm going to put that clay media back over the top. And the same again for each other tray, I'm just going to have a different variety of plant in each. And now that it's been circulating for a little bit, I just wanna do a quick test of the EC and pH. pH is 6.6, .6, which is acceptable. That's 0.1 above the range they usually have it in. The milli Siemens, the EC is two. That is absolutely fine. I'm just gonna test a different level. So on the bottom level, the milli Siemens is 1.9. The P8 is 6.7. So that falls within reasonable for me. And now that I've got all of my levels planted out, I'm actually gonna to have to move it in place. And this is where I'm gonna have the system. So now I'm gonna set up the time-lapse cameras and we'll see how it grows. So it's going really well. Uh, the only problem is with some of the seeds, uh, they're just not performing at all really. And I have no idea why. Um, that is the radicchio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to transplant some of the ones from our top system, which is way overcrowded. Our bok choy has gone crazy. And I'm gonna put some into our bottom middle shelf. Uh, and to do this, I'm just going to do my best not to harm this plant and we're going to transplant it into our bottom sections like that. Place some of the stones on top and hope for the best. <laughs> so I've removed a bunch from the top. You can barely even tell. And 
transplanted them down to this bottom middle level. These will all bounce back. Uh, they got full access to water and nutrients, so not unhappy with that at all. I've given these guys a little bit more breathing space. We should get the same amount of leaf, just larger leaves on less plants. It's actually going to give us more because we've now got this space to play with as well. So let's continue the time lapse. <laughs> And will you have a look at that result? I'm actually quite impressed with this system. I went in slightly skeptical because I was unsure of the deep flow technique method working as well as this, honestly. And I have no idea where they're sourcing their lights from, but this is an incredible amount of growth from LED strip lighting. I'm quite surprised that the plants are quite frankly this healthy, given that there's three strip lights per each level. But the proof is in the result, they're working absolutely spectacularly. Now, when you click on the link below, you may get a little shock from the price, but remember, this is a custom hydroponic system. This isn't thrown together parts. And for the amount of produce that you could theoretically grow with this, I would say a family of four could easily have their needs met by a properly managed system like this. I don't think I could possibly eat all of the greens that are in this system if I were to have each shelf rotating with a different stage of plant. I did have one problem with one of the levels overflowing because of a blockage in the pipes. I would just keep a closer eye on the pipes blocking up with debris from the grow, essentially, and you won't have a problem there. This would fit into any sized house and the only requirements are hydroponic nutrient and power. And the footprint, it's in a two square foot footprint. Like this is an incredibly productive use of space. The app that controls this, I was having a little bit of trouble with at the start. Okay, so this app is actually quite frustrating because it, you have to fill out every single variable. It won't let you just skip through. They've sent me out this system so that they can get a bit of exposure so that they can continue working on it. And this will be my feedback to them. Um, but I actually reached out to the Elfsys developers. I said, look, I, I'm not particularly happy that I have to jump through all these hoops just to set it up. I'd like a quick setup process. Then a couple of weeks later, they actually sent me an email and said, we've added in the quick start process. So they're on the ball. I've spoken to them about this system and about their app and their app is able to control lots of different smart devices. So if you've got a smart power board, it can probably be added into their app so that you can control it in a hydroponic specific environment. So if the system's a bit out of your price range, check out their app because it might provide some features that you can adapt for DIY systems. What I'd actually like to do now is I'd like to weigh up how much produce I was able to produce with this system. I'm gonna cut out all of my plants. These are lovely plants. <laughs> Have a look at how nice these bok choy are. They're a really nice green. <laughs> Me plus a bucket, 87.45, 90.9545. That's three and a half kilos of bok choy. That's, that's not bad. That's about 1.75 kilograms per shelf. And there it is. That is the Elfsys home hydroponic system. Now, if you're interested in this system, there are links in the description to where you can purchase. But for now, check out my other video, how to build a DIY indoor NFT hydroponic system if you'd like to see a DIY version of this. That'll be linked at the end of the video. Happy hydroponicking.